Hi guys, Chris here with Super Savvy Travelers. Again, we are in beautiful Artigia in Syracuse, Sicily, and we have to be running to our neighbor where our B&B is, and she has a shop here in Artigia, right next to the Teatro Did I say that right here? That's pretty okay, good. And uh, she creates and sells these beautiful hand-painted silk scarves. And I want to talk to her a little bit about a few things because she lives here and has been living here. She's also renovated here, which is something we're always interested in, and she's an artisan and a craftsperson. And ladies and gentlemen, this is Liz Atkinson. And what's the name of your shop? Um, well, it's not a shop really, it's more of a studio atelier, but um, my uh, work, I have this idea, my uh, work, I have this idea to call it Drawn on Silver. Because in the past I had this idea to, to, I like drawing so much and I wanted to actually do designs and drawings on silk. So the painting came afterwards. A friend of mine who I used to work with in the school of the Roman here, it's an American school, and it's not there anymore. Um, she taught me how to do the silk painting. Wow, wow, so we learned it long here. Yes, yes, very cool. About 15 years ago. Okay. I've been here 20, 21 years, nearly 22 years. Wow, wow. So tell me a little bit about, we talked a little bit about the fact that you had purchased a place for doing a renovation. Mm -hmm. And what kind of a place and where is it? In Via Larga, which is at the end of the road here, so it's right in the heart of the old town. Um, it's in a little uh, courtyard with other other buildings and garages in there, and hidden away. And it's just a long, uh, straight, you know, uh, single floor building with a terrace. You can't just have a view, but it's uh, very nice to have a terrace. When, you know, especially in the winter, when the sun's strong and you know it's actually warmer on the terrace than in the house. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've been here in this street for about four years. Before that, I used to do small exhibitions in the street or, you know, little galleries here in Ortega would invite us to do exhibitions. The, the shop here has been open for about four years. Um, and I just decided to stop doing full-time teaching. I still teach sometimes. And, um, yeah, it's March to November is a kind of touristy season. Yeah, yeah, that's good to know because that's a nice long tourist season. Yes, yeah, yeah. Uh, where we are in Calabria, it's really just the summer mm -hmm. months, so it's nice to hear that it's a longer tourist season. Yeah, better for the artist. It's it's got longer over the years because in originally when I was first here, I mean in. You know, July and August, all the locals would go away to the beach or to the countryside, and Ortigia would be empty. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah. I hadn't really heard much about Ortigia. Of course, I've heard about Syracuse. Mm -hmm. But then when I, um, last or before COVID, I was trying to set up a tour uh, of Sicily, and of course, I started looking at Ortigia. Oh my goodness, it's so beautiful. And look at all the things that has to offer. So when we got so there, much to see. Yeah, I, mean, I can still go around and see things I've not seen after 20 years. Yeah, exactly. Okay, well, would you like to show us a little bit on, on how you do these Absolutely. Yes, of course. Okay, so tell me about your workstation and uh, your equipment and how this all comes together. Well, usually I just draw directly onto the silk with uh, gutta, which is this, it's a, a French-based product for, for silk. And I actually just draw the image that I want from, from either from sketches or from my head. I, d I don't draw it on the silk, first of all. Um, sometimes I'll use charcoal. So I'll charcoal draw, if I want to be more accurate, I'll draw mm -hmm. what I want to do. Mm -hmm. And then you leave that to dry. And then it's basically like a watercolour. You have different washes okay. of the, of the. this is oh. sort of really concentrated. So you mix it with water. Oh, okay. And it's similar to watercolour technique. You've got to kind of, once it's on, it's on. You've got, yeah. You can't sort of change it like you would with oil. Yeah. Um, so it's like bas basically a series of washes. Or if you want stronger colour, you just paint directly on the silk with the colours. Oh my goodness. So is this yeah. like a, a masking? Yes. Okay, so it masks it exactly. leaves a little white line. It does. Okay. So then the whole thing dries when it's all dry. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I leave it overnight to get a, a more intense colour. 
and then the day after I'll wash out the whole thing. It doesn't wash away the colour. Okay. Uh, use sort of cold water and then a little bit of detergent. And then, so then that will leave you with the drawing and the, the colour in place. Mm -hmm. It doesn't always work that way, <laughs> <laughs> so I have to say. It's it's same it's old practice. practice. <laughs> yeah. And then um, when that's dry again, you just iron fix it. You iron both sides of the silk. Okay. And then you can actually, you can wash it in warm water and then it doesn't go away. Really? I've washed them in the washing machine. Really? But I tend not to. I don't advise that because of the stitching. Yeah, and the silk is kind of a, a yeah. delicate fabric, but it's nice to know that the colors stay fixed mm -hmm. for a long time, despite what you, you know how you yeah. use it. And the silk, you being able to wash it out is a good deal. Yes, yeah, yeah. Oh, this is beautiful. Then, yeah, I've tried different kinds of silk, heavier silk, but you only get with the heavier silk. This is why people um, silk screen print um, heavier silk because you don't get both sides then. Whereas this is a, a transparent silk that's made specially for silk painting. Yeah, yeah. So it's already hand rolled. Yeah. Oh, I see. The edges. Yeah. And you buy it already hand rolled. Yeah. Just, oh, that's yeah. lovely. That's wonderful. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. Okay, so this has been fascinating learning how to make these beautiful silk scarves. I'm going to put the address down in the details so you can come here and shop for yourselves.